I'm Evangelist Valerie Spivey Danzy. And I'm Elder Mark Danzy. And we'd like to invite you to listen to Marvell Ministries. Hello and welcome to Marvell Ministries. It is an honor once again to be here and it is just a great day. Now, where we are, we have an inclement weather, but that just means we can stay home. So I've gotten some things done around here and everything has been great. So I am Valerie Spivey Danzy and this is Elder Mark Danzy. And of course, as I said before, we're Marbell Ministries and we are powered by K Stephan Diversities and we are here to talk about Black History Month. Wow. We have it once a year, but you know, for me, this, this is how I see Black History Month. Black History Month is something that we celebrate this month to talk about all things us, by us, for us. But black history in this country, in my opinion, my humble opinion, <laughs> is American history. And so we need to talk about it all year. It needs to be mixed in with everything else because it happened here. It's about us. It's why we like we are today. And I love it. Just like I enjoy reading about all the presidents and all of that stuff. I enjoy knowing about who built what, who brought it together, sure. how it got going. And all of that is our history as Americans. Being, uh, being African American, which is, I, which is what I've been slated, I don't know necessarily where I come from. So all of my history is here. So I want to talk about my history. You want to talk about it with me? Absolutely. Okay. I'd, be, I'd be more than happy to talk about it. As a matter of fact, um, I agree wholeheartedly with what you said already in our, in our uh, beginning here, in our intro. Uh, and let me just say this, that you cannot relegate black history to one month. No. Uh, 28, 29 days. You can't relegate it to, short to just that <laughs> short month. And I hear people joke all the time saying uh, they gave us a month, but they gave us the shortest month. The shortest month. month. Uh, <laughs> and I think we share with a few other things <laughs> exactly as right. well. Yeah. So uh, what we want to talk about today is, of course, black history. But I believe that black history is world history. Yeah. Very much so. It's world history. Because there are uh, us black people are everywhere. Absolutely. As a matter of <laughs> fact, even from black the Amber. cradle of civilization mm -hmm. in, 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 in Africa, mm -hmm. we, we have to understand that, uh, that black people are not just a fly-by-night item. No. We're not just those people who just came on the scene. And, and contrary to popular belief, black history did not start with slavery. No. Okay. Now in America, it, it might have. Actually, it really didn't. There were some things Absolutely. that happened before that. Right. But uh, yeah. Yeah. The way they tell it, it starts there. Absolutely, because there were even explorers before the advent of slavery in the United States who traveled with the Spaniards, mm -hmm. who came here. There were even some uh, recordings of African American or darker skin Moors or, or mm -hmm. whatever you'd like to call them, even during the time when the Native Americans were actually those exactly. who uh, 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 propagated the Northern Hemisphere sure. before it was called North America. Sure. And so what we need to understand is that there's more to black history than going back to the civil rights movement, right. going back to slavery. Black history encompasses the whole of, of, of the entirety of the existence of the world. Exactly. Now those things that you mentioned are very important Absolutely. to African Americans. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and I think we were even talking at, at one point about some people didn't really understand the significance of what people were doing at that time. Sure. They, they thought that they were just making trouble. And they didn't understand that on the back end of that, some of the things that we weren't afforded before, we would be afforded now right. because of those sacrifices sure. made during the Civil Rights Movement. Sure. So please don't think we negate the Civil Rights Movement, because we don't. A exactly. Absolutely not. Those are important things, and they should be uh, talked Spoken about. It should be. Uh, explored mm -hmm. uh, especially by each generation as we go forward mm -hmm. but what I'm concerned with is the fact that we are more than the civil rights oh era. way more way we more. are more than the era of slavery mm -hmm. we, we we're, we're just more 
Yeah, in every in every aspect. In every because aspect, because we are uh, fortunate enough to have a bit of everything. Absolutely, we are we are great not only at like sports and and building things and fixing things, sure. which we are Absolutely. experts. Absolutely, and we're not the only experts, but we not are experts. Only, but we are. But we are uh, scientists and musicians and all the things that any other culture is. Right, we are. Yeah, absolutely, we're not relegated and limited to what maybe the media has said we are. Sure, we are more, and those things that the media shows are just those little byproducts. Sure, sure. the whole scope of us right. do not fall in generally what they. Media. And some of you who are listening today may say, well, we, we thought you guys were, you know, pretty much a, a Christian or, or religious type podcast. Oh, well, yeah. here, here's what you need to get. Mm-hmm. We, we're not religious. And, and I'm going to shock I, I, I'm going to shock you with this. We're not religious because God is not religious. Right. He is not concerned about the duty to act in a certain way or a certain manner. That's not what God is. God is a holy God. Mm. And because he is holy, uh, it is he that has created everything that we are. Exactly. Uh, when you talk about uh, black Americans, when you talk about European Americans or Chinese Americans or, uh, or, or Mexican Americans, who, whatever you want, any, any people that you want to talk about on the face of this earth, God is the creator of it all. And he knew. He knew that we would be in this position at this time doing this thing. And contrary to what some may believe, we are here for a purpose and a a reason. Because there is no way that we can be who we are without God's stamp of approval. The things that we have accomplished as African Americans couldn't have been accomplished without God. So... Yeah, all of this is about giving praise to God because this is what we do. Everything that we do is for His glory. Yeah. So we don't we don't have to just uh, talk about it in hallelujahs and everything. <laughs> right. But trust is about Him. And, and and to add to that, what we what we really have to get to uh, is to understand that that. We, we want to talk about the totality of how we live on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. And everything that mm-hmm. we do, trust me, it has to relate to who God is. Right. Because, because it matters. Uh, it also matters what we as the church. Right. <laughs> okay, more air quotes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what we as the church and, and how we're relevant mm-hmm. to black history. How, how black history is relevant to us now. Exactly. When we go back and, and understand the significance of black actors mm-hmm. within the realm of the church. Right. Uh, when you go back in, right. in, I'm talking about in real history. I, 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 I'm even getting to the point where I'm not really concerned with using the term black history. No, it's just history. It, it's just history. history. The history of the world. Because it all happened. Yeah, it all happened <laughs> and we were all involved in it. And everybody has their place, and you know, right? Just because it doesn't yeah. focus on a particular set of people doesn't mean right. it's not history. Absolutely, absolutely. So and our history is not sure. actually separated from anybody else's. And I long for the time when it's not treated as such. Mm-hmm. What the the reason that uh, Black History Week first week, week and right. then Black History Month mm-hmm. was actually uh, created mm-hmm. was because of the lack of importance that was placed on uh, the contributions of black Americans to what has happened in this country o- right. over this country's uh, short existence. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and and I believe it was Dr. Last Carter G. Was Woodson? Woodson, right. Carter Dr. G. Woodson. And uh, he started this back in, in 1912. Uh, then in 1926, he started with Black History Week. Week, right, which went all the way up until and the 70s. All the way until 76, <laughs> 1976, mm-hmm. when they first uh, started actually having yeah. Black History Month. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what, what we're saying is, is that those things were done for a reason. Exactly. Because people were ignoring the contribution that black Americans, uh, let me change that, they were ignoring the the contributions of Americans who happened to be black. Happened to be black, right. 
Yeah. And so that's that's the way we really ought to look at it. And, and I believe mm-hmm. that rather than relegate it to a month or, or to try to, you know, condense it mm-hmm. into uh, 28, 29 days, we ought to always Talk be looking about, at right. the history of America with regard to those who have con, con, uh, contributed mm-hmm. to its to its its greatness, and that can, that that doesn't just you know include us; it includes right. white people, it includes Hispanic people, Absolutely. Asian people, because our country is a country of many nations Absolutely. that have come together to become the United States. United, States. and so Absolutely. yeah, we, we we're not just saying you ought to do this just for us. History should be everybody's history, right? Right. There shouldn't be anyone left out. And, and we're going. And it's, I can hear the comments it's now be saying, "Oh comments. well, you know, yeah, but they won't let us this, and they won't let." Look, let me tell you something. I learned it at the house. <laughs> My mama said, "You black." Let me tell you. Did yeah, you know? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, and maybe some of us will have to do that until things change. We 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 have concentrated so much on the past. Every February, we talk about. What Martin has happened? King. <laughs> Nobody wants to talk about Malcolm X because he was a little militant. Yeah, but but he's, but he's part of it. Carter G. Wilson. Yeah, we yeah, talked about him. These, these people, these Black Americans, Sojourner uh, Truth. Yeah, all, all, all the way back <laughs> to Harriet yeah, Tubman. Yeah, we just we talk yeah, about those. Everybody, everybody, and they're important. They're they're absolutely important. Christmas but, Atticus. But what I want us to really get to is how do we move forward? from here yeah what do we do how how do we become the next era of history <laughs> what are we doing now to create history that others will look back and and and, and see as relevant mm-hmm. we need to be making history right now we need to find out how the church relates to the history the the forthcoming history right. of Americans who happen to be black. Right. There's work to be done in our communities. Mm-hmm. There's things that we ourselves need to do mm-hmm. that 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 will help our future, mm-hmm. which also will become our history. Exactly. Our history is very important. Absolutely. And 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 it it, it seems as as we're in uh, the present, the things that make history aren't showing up. Right. But we know we have to continue to, to work in excellence. We've got to make sure that we are teaching our children, you know, the the, the best ways to live. And of course we say the holy way, because that's who Absolutely. we are. Absolutely. We want you to teach them how to live holy. And we want you to teach them how to, to take care of their finances, to take care of all the things, because we're, we're blessed to have so many very educated people. Even the very educated people lose out in places that we just don't cover. Right. Because we, we talk about often how our children don't understand finances because we didn't talk about it. And that's why it's taken so long for our, our African Americans, us. It took us a minute to get together with that money because nobody talked about it. They just said, save your money. Yeah. But, but I got a light bill. What? Right. How do I save my money and I got to spend money? Right. And then if I got money, I'm so excited that I spend it all. So the church helps with that. Our families help with that. And it becomes so important that while we're in a present time, Mm -hmm. that we do everything we can. And when it shows up in history, when it's back here, you will be able to see how this generation made an impact. Absolutely. And, and, And the church has to be the catalyst for the greatness of black families mm-hmm. and communities. Mm-hmm. The church should be the catalyst for that. Exactly. Every facet of our lives ought to be addressed at some point in time while we're at church. It, it, it yeah. can't all be about Daniel's and, Daniel and the lion's den. Right, right, right. It can't all be. Yeah. <laughs> in case you didn't know. The Lord brought him out. He got out. <laughs> It can't all be. It can't all be about uh, Noah and the Ark. We've heard those stories uh, ad nauseum, if you really want to be honest. And now it's time for us to begin to teach, as 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 my wife said, 
we, we've got to begin to teach uh, some of us, even at our age, and our children uh, how to deal with our finances, how to become first-time homeowners, how to buy property, how to invest money, how to save money, how to treat our spouses correctly, how to, how to deal with uh, situations on the streets when we're stopped by police officers. Uh, we need to teach each other CPR. My wife and I are going through CPR courses again, uh, again <laughs> to be recertified and become instructors so that we can take that to our church and teach our people how to render CPR if need be. These are all things that we ought to be learning and doing uh, in the church, which strengthen our communities and our families. That, my friends, is black history. Right. And just like what my husband said, everything that he, he just mentioned, we are learning and doing and working toward because of our history. Absolutely. Some of the things about our history, we want to change. Sure. We want to change the, the fact that one generation, you know, makes it and they can kind of live OK. And the next generation has to start from the bottom and bootstrap. <laughs> right. we're, you know, we're trying to create generational wealth. Sure. We're trying to keep it where... You know, where the, you know, the, some other people, they, their kids are able to have a jump off. They can go to college. Right. Yeah, it's not that the kids don't want to go to college. They ain't got no money. That's it. You know, yeah. and things have happened along the way. Sure. And they, they aren't able to go. But now we're trying to get to where we understand how to propel our folks forward. Because a lot of people who were fully capable were not able to make it forward Absolutely. because we didn't understand the things that were in the past Absolutely. that we needed to correct sure. going forward. Sure. Even the ability to to apply for scholarships when our kids mm -hmm. are ready to go mm -hmm. to college. Yeah, a lot of people it, didn't know. I mean, there's I so many facets, there's so many things that, that we as uh, black Americans need to do for ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it's very true that others in other cultures you can see other cultures come to America and, and open thrive. up stores and thrive, uh, you know, stores on every corner. They're selling us right. products that, that we use and right. we're going to them for it. Right. But historically, we have been taught not to work together. Right. So we're still, all these years out, still are trying to overcome the things that were implanted in us for generations. Absolutely. We have to learn how to love each other and sure. trust each other. And I think by and large, we do. Right. But then, of course, we got these people who going to come up on the TV set doing <laughs> stuff yeah. that they didn't have any business. And they're right. going to say, you know, all of them are like that. That's right. And that's just not. That's right. That's just not true. That's absolutely true. So we have to overcome our history yes. and we have to tell our stories. And that, that's why it's this, this generation is awesome, because we can tell our stories online right now and we can change the narrative. Absolutely. And it's just an, it's an amazing thing that our history now can be documented in a different way. Absolutely. We, the, as we get ready to close for this week, oh, yeah. I want you to understand <laughs> the Bible says mm -hmm. that we are to overcome evil with good. with good. Yes, it does. We can change the narrative. Uh -huh. We can change and start right now mm -hmm. just because... The, the, the National Register or Schedule says that, that February is Black History Month. We don't have to let that be so. We can make every month Black History Month. Mm -hmm. We can make every season a season where we together can learn from each other. Mm -hmm. We can learn unity for each other. We can work together with each other mm -hmm. and grow in the grace of of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah. We as the church have to learn that we are responsible mm -hmm. All day. for teaching our families, mm -hmm. for teaching the individuals, our, our, our youth, for providing for our community. We have the resources to be able to help our own communities. Yes. We should not have to beg for, for, for anything from anybody. We can do it. Mm -hmm. But the resources are there and we ought to use those resources. We ought to learn how to use them. And we ought to learn that we ought to continually be making black history every single every day. day. Exactly. Thank you all for watching. We'll be back.
look for us. Make sure you like and share. And we thank you once more and again. Goodbye. God bless you. Thanks for joining Marval Ministries.